Hey guys, it's Techie Tish here and welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about what my first month was like as a junior DevOps engineer. And if you haven't seen my previous video, which was how I got the job, then please check that out. I'll put a link in the description. So the first thing is what to sort of expect in your first week. You've, you've just got this new job. Um, if you come into my channel and you, you, you're aspiring to be a DevOps engineer, um, this is sort of what you could probably expect when you get that job. And I'd say the first thing was um, meeting people and you know setting up your IT equipment and, and that sort of thing. So I'll explain that in a little bit more detail. Expect the nerves, um, expect the nerves and expect the imposter syndrome. We'll, we'll come down to that shortly, um, and imposter syndrome because it is real, <laughs> I tell you. Um, and expect that you're not going to be doing really anything um you know like in terms of you're not going to be picking up tickets straight away you're not going to be you know this is in the first year you're, you're there to get acquainted with people um understand how um, your team works understand understand um you know how how it what it's what it's going to be like um, you know, understand those things. In my first week, um, at the very first day, should I say, actually, um, my my manager meted me um, and he then gave me a tour of the whole building. Um, I did actually forget to mention that in my, um, in my previous video, in my final stage interview, at the end of the interview, I actually got a tour around the building. But between usually you've been offered the job and you know you've got your notice period, it's usually about a month, so you might, you know, your nerves and, and your excitement, you might forget uh, uh, quite a bit of things um, in terms of if, if your company does give you a tour at the end of your interview. So um, I had a tour, and uh, in that tour of the building, I got to meet sort of like the team leads and. Um, or should I say department leads, um, so more like team leads and, you know, got to meet like where HR is, finance, where uh, different product teams sit, where different sort of departments basically sit. So as a DevOps engineer, you're gonna, on um, more than one occasion, definitely be speaking to um, people in different teams because, at the end of the day, your job is very collaborative, so um, you are going to be speed. So I would say definitely keep a note of where people are. But if you do forget, that's okay. Like I forgot a couple of um, things, and you just end up figuring it out um, as the weeks go along. So um, yeah, so we got to meet um, uh, you know pretty much everyone, and after the after the tour was over. I then got given my computer, um, my laptop, and um, then I sort of like had to set up. Well, it was already set up, but I needed to, to install a lot of tools that I would need for the job. So, you know, needed to install a lot of things on the terminal. So, you know, get. Um, is your CLI, all, all that kind of stuff. Once I'd done that, um, I think then we, we sort of had a break and we sort of, sort of started basically being introduced to people on the team and um, being introduced to what team, um, so within the organization I work in, there's there's like the mobile team, the web team, and there's like different product teams. So I had to get an understanding of where I was gonna be working or what what I was gonna be doing. And as a junior, don't know anything. <laughs> you know, I don't know anything. So, um, you know, your manager, your team should know like which sort of direction you're gonna be everyone was super friendly and it was really honestly it's probably the best first day i've ever had at a organization 
then after that my manager actually handed me like a, a like a goodie not a goodie bag but it was like a welcome pack and it had like lots of documents and um not documents should i say but more like things to do with the, the business like brochure like magazines they have and um and, and things like that and things that like will help me understand the company better and the products that we sort of like deliver to customers and that kind of thing so there was that and then it had like you know my credentials to log onto my laptop and all that kind of thing and so i could change my password and all that kind of stuff so i got given that and it also had an induction pack in there so that induction document was actually broken down day by day by for the first month so each day almost each day i had to i had like a team's call set up or at the time and we were in the office we're doing um but because it's my first week I'm, I'm in the office full time um even though i i am doing hybrid so i was doing i'm doing like the company policy is kind of like two days in the office and three days from home so that because in my first week is best that you are in the office so you can get a clearer understanding of a lot of things so um that week i either had a team's call or meeting someone in person um and you know because of the way how that building is and the way how people are you can just decide whether we're gonna have meetings in the canteen or whether we're gonna have it at someone's desk or, or whatever it is so um that was really fun and and that really honestly you might think like oh when you're joining a new company and you then like meet like some managing director or you know you meet someone that in my previous experience i would never have had a one-on-one -on -one, like um with someone that was outside of the team really or outside of the um department should i say and, and that was really useful because for me it understood how other teams worked because in these one-on-ones we'd you know we'd talk about my background their background how they join the company why they join the company what their role is and their responsibilities sort of how my role will either or maybe not um you know sort of fit in with their role um, or even the team so uh, some of the teams we do actually speak to like day to day and and that that's like important to understand understand that foundation and and uh, yeah the first week just honestly i'm two months in um and it's blown by <laughs> i don't even really remember the first week and um but yeah that it was it was brilliant it was it was really good so the next point i would say is definitely imposter syndrome um <laughs> i am gonna make a separate video after this one um and it's literally gonna be about imposter syndrome and like really how to deal with it and um how and it is real like I don't think I've ever had imposter syndrome before until I want to say I want to say my very first IT job I might have had some imposter syndrome but I really can't remember um I feel like I probably did um, that to be expected to be honest um so yeah definitely um, imposter syndrome is real and in short just embrace it just accept it um you know tell your manager tell your colleagues that you know you do feel like you have imposter syndrome and more than more than not most of them will have had that as well even though they're senior even though they're experienced you're likely to have it especially when you join a new organizing you're gonna learn how they do things you gotta you're not gonna know a lot of you're not going to know some things and you might feel a bit of imposter syndrome um, and on that note actually i got some good advice from my colleagues and it's don't learn 
everything all at once like pick something learn that understand that work on that you know do that until you understand it and that sort of leads me on to my next one um, which is buzzwords and so buzzwords you're gonna hear a lot of acronyms a lot of buzzwords and I I like <laughs> There was so many words thrown at me and I was just like, what? What? Like, what does that mean? Like, ask the questions though. What does that mean? Even if it's like silly or you think it's silly, like, you know, just ask. Because if you just sit in it and don't, like, if it's something like you're in a meeting and then let's say you're in a team's meeting and then something's being said by someone and, you know, your colleagues are in that meeting as well just message them as the, you're in the meeting and say oh what does that like acronym mean because i found sometimes when you're googling stuff you can it might literally come up with something completely different to what actually that acronym means at that organization so definitely ask the people that have been there and and are um you know talking or even the person that's talking about it but like your colleagues should know these type of things so you know lean on them rely on them kind of thing for um you know your general sort of knowledge resources kind of thing so this one's a bit of a a thing um and it's agile when when you're in it support or you're in first line um you're in second line and even maybe third line and you're doing like it support when you're when you're working in those roles you don't in my experience i have never worked um practicing agile methodologies i've never worked doing those things i've i've never worked um in an organization where I've, where, where scrum was a thing um and maybe the was that where maybe agile was practiced by like network team or like um you know different teams or development teams it probably was practicing but i never worked in it before i never understood and I, I never even really i've come across it when i was doing a computer science degree and like but i graduated in 2019 so i pretty much forgot about that to be honest and um usually when you're doing when you're reading the job description it does mention agile so you know i did like do a little bit of research before my interview and i did a bit of research when going into the job but there's a lot again with the buzzwords there's a lot of things that that come up like sprints um you know um story points if you use jira um or if you even use your devops there's there's a lot of words that and you're thinking sprint what what, what does that mean like and, and you know ask your colleagues that are going to be working in the same team as you you might have a devops team that has like 30 people but out of that 30 people are all of them working on that one like product team who knows so ask the people that you actually work closely with like what does spring mean in terms of the team that you're working with so for example um, in, in the company that I work at, um, generally sprints are every two weeks and your goal is that you have a sprint goal and you work towards achieving that sprint goal and you do sprint planning, so you do the planning session before sprint. Um, you also have something called retro where you go through um, improvements, what went well, what, what didn't go so well and you also have um, like I guess sprint and uh, closing so like just as sprint is closing or on the closure of sprint you, you just go over like oh like did you meet that you also have stand-ups which is um what we have every day um so i have a stand-up with my devops team and then i also have a stand-up with my product team and in the stand-up with the product team that's where you sort of go over your tickets that are on the board um, whether you have any issues whether you have um that you know any blockers any kind of thing you just go through this is so that the product lead um knows 
where everyone is with their tickets and how they're progressing towards that spring goal or the end of the spring. Some of the points I've been talking about are like leading up to now. So I'm on my two month mark. Um, I started at the beginning of November and it is now the end of December. So um, those are the two sort of, those, those things are, Apart from like the first point that I made that was specific to the first week, I'd say these things are generally what to expect definitely in the first month. It might, you know, take a couple of months before you pick up on some of these stuff. I'd say from the fourth week on, I um, started picking up tickets um, or I started being assigned tickets, should I say. Um, as a junior, I really wouldn't expect you to go through the boards and pick tickets unless that your colleague says oh, okay go through the board and see which one you want to do and then pick it up and expect to not know anything that so that's my tip expect to not know anything because the tickets vary so much um, and expect and be open-minded don't like if you've been doing DevOps bootcamp or whatever, or you've been self-teaching, or you've even been doing it at your other job, but let's say you don't really like doing pipeline work, and you know, there's stuff that you everyone's not gonna like about, like they're not gonna particularly find too interesting when it comes to their job role. As a junior, you should be interested in really everything and you should be open to everything and um, because you're there to develop your skill set across the board and not just like in pipelines and not just in um, whatever microservice or whatever. You're, you're there to basically be upskilled to the level of your seniors. The product here that I'm in, they're going through a transformation. So they had a website and then they've got a version two of that website, which is currently in beta and is being tested by um, a number of people. And because it's going through that and I'm at right at the beginning of that, DevOps has been brought into that team to basically do a number of things, whether it's, like I said, um, rewriting a pipeline, um, you know, um, introducing ways to automate processes to allow the product team to get those releases or drops out to the customer on like you know as quickly as possible so guys thank you for watching and those are the few things that i think you can expect on your first month or a couple of months um, as a like a junior or even just a devops engineer in general if you guys have any questions um please don't hesitate to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe because that'll help this channel grow